Honolulu's next mayor will have the monumental task of handling the COVID-19 pandemic, ensuring the safety of about a million people while figuring out how to revive Oahu's economy. Candidates Keith Amamiya and Rick Blangiardi agreed on many issues, like supporting the current four-tier system for reopening Oahu. I think local people know what to do. We understand what it means to wear a mask, to socially distance, to wash our hands, and we have a chance to really create our own sense of getting back to normal again. If anything, I would modify the tier system and make it so that if we keep our counts down low enough, we would be able to fully or more fully reopen the economy much sooner. When asked how they'd improve the lives of Hawaii's people during and after the pandemic, Amamiya stressed reducing the cost of living while Blanche already focused on getting people back to work. Let's build more affordable housing. Let's have a true multimodal transportation network. Let's have livable, walkable, safe communities all across Oahu. Quality of life has so much to do with getting our people back to work. This whole episode has been top down. It's been government dictating the rules, and we've not had the voice of business at the table. The very people who have the most to lose. The mood shifted when the candidates asked their own questions. Amamiya accused Blangiardi of belittling his work within the community. Well, first of all, I've never belittled Mr. Amamiya in public, so that's an allegation that I don't understand. At the end of the day, I don't think he also understands what it means to be a general manager of a television station, especially here in Hawaii. Providing news stories is one thing, providing solutions to the community is another. And Blangiardi accused Amamiya of spreading lies and personal attacks. Again, Rick, I'm not sure what you're talking about, and if anyone's on the tail end or receiving end of smear campaigns, it's myself, both in the primary election and during this current general election. And these people who are in the primary election helping another candidate are helping you throughout this campaign. So, again, uh, don't throw stones at a, at a glass house. You asked if we could have a truce for this election, and I agreed to do that. In fact, I had promised civility from day one in running for this office, and I've maintained that civility. But the personal attacks that are going on and the lies that you're spreading and your campaign team, I find really reprehensible. They use their closing statements as a final plea to voters. And if elected, my administration will represent the diversity of our islands and our state. We are the most diverse place in the world, and we are a role model for all. My entire career has been dedicated to public service, working in our communities and bringing people together. Oahu is my home, and I pledge to you to give my heart and soul into everything I do as your mayor. You can rewatch the debate on K212.com. Bridget Amata, K212 News, working for Hawaii.